All right, DNS exam three, problem number 40. This one always comes up here. Uh, in this problem right here, guys, we've been given a function, and it's a complicated one, a cubic function right here, and they tell us then that g is the inverse of f, and they want us to find the value of g prime of zero. If you're wondering why I kind of wrote this out and set it up this way, it's because I recognized right away what kind of problem this was. I'm thinking you guys didn't if you were asking this question. If they give you information about one function, f of x, and they want you to come up with the value value of its deriv uh, of its inverse or I should say the derivative of its inverse at a specific spot, this is that problem that we did back in the very end of chapter 3 that I always set up as a t-chart right here where we were trying to find the relationship between a function and then its inverse function's derivative at a particular spot. Okay, guys, if you remember the way that we did this, the most important thing that we tried to do first was figure out the ordered pair in question. Now, since we're trying to find the value of g prime of 0, that means that over here on the g side, 0 is our x value, and we're trying to figure out the y value that goes with it. That means that over here on the f side, at the sister point of the point where we're really interested in, 0, which was the x coordinate of g, now becomes the y coordinate of f. And we've got to try to figure out what value of x that goes right here is going to work in this function. So really the question is, we want this f of x expression right over here to give us a y value of 0. Now since this one is actually a calculator question, probably the easiest way to do it would be to go to a calculator uh, and, and do a solve function on that, unless the answer just happens to jump out at us right now. And I'm thinking about it. Zero, it, I don't think is going to work. One does not look like it's going to work. I'm wondering if it's maybe two. Uh, the two cubed would be eight. Uh, minus four times seven would be 28. And a plus 50. And then a minus 39. Would that get a zero? The eight minus 28 would be a negative 20. Plus 50 is 30. No, that doesn't seem to work either. So rather than just groping around in the dark here for a while, Let's go to our calculator right here and see what we can do in order to solve that quickly. Again, because this is a calculator problem. So I'm going to go to Algebra. I'm going to go to Solve. And uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing anything else with this function, so I don't think it's worth defining it. I think I'm going to go ahead and just type it in. So we're going to try to solve the function x to the third power. Uh, let's see here. A minus then 7x squared plus 25x minus... 39, and we want that whole thing now to equal 0. We need to put a comma in there and tell it that we wanted to solve this function for x. So we hit enter, and sure enough, I stopped one too short. That uh, didn't surprise me too much right there. So x equals 3 is the x value that gives us the y value we needed of 0. Now technically, that makes your y value over here on the g side 3, but that's completely irrelevant. Okay, let's talk about what it is now that we are going to do with uh, this newfound information. So we have the explicit definition of f of x. Right beneath that, then, we're going to differentiate that to find f prime. That's going to give us a 3x squared minus a 14x and a plus 20. Yeah, and a plus 25. There we go. All right. And then we're now going to take this derivative, f prime, and evaluate it for this particular x value right here, which is f prime of 3. So plug in a 3 in there. This becomes a 3 cubed, which is 27, minus a 14 times 3, which is a 42 plus 25. And what does that do for us? The 27 minus 42 is a negative 15, plus 25 looks like it's going to give us a 10. And here's the big takeaway then, guys. If the value of the derivative of f evaluated at the point 3, 0 is 10, then the value of its inverse's derivative at its sister point, the spot here where x is equal to 0, is always going to be the reciprocal of this value here, which is going to be 1 tenth. So that is one of our choices, and it looks like our answer for number 40 is C.